I don't usually make uh, videos of me making a mess, but a few of you guys probably look up to me for information, so that's why I'm making this video of how I solder my Dean connectors on. I use these here pliers to keep this steady for me. And then you want to use a good hot soldering iron for these Deans. I usually like to use a 90 to 100 watt if I can get it. I think this is a 90 watt. Um, I bought on eBay for $15. It's a hundred and, I don't know, I can't tell. I have a glass on. It looks like it says 120 watt though, but the hotter, the bigger and hotter it is, the faster it will melt this down and won't uh, melt your plastic on your Dean here. It's just got to be hot enough to melt just fast like that, man. Just knocking right off. I love this soldering iron. Yes, she does a good job. Huh. And I should have... Put my ends on my strip my ends on my battery already and put on the um, shrink wrap. So I hope you guys can bear with me for a second because I forgot to. damage to be done to this marble sink so right away from there I'll take this to the shrink wrapper mm -hmm. and I had some scissors a second ago I guess I'm gonna have to use me oh there you go have to use me old knife And I got all this shrink wrap on eBay for about three bucks. Now I'm going to strip these one at a time so one doesn't touch the other and short out. Oh yeah, I smell skin. this tip and drop some solder on his lip. Mm -hmm. Melt the solder on this lead. 
Now I'm gonna try and attach it. Just like that. You want to take it off and bend it back and forth and see if it snaps off. <laughs> it's just like mine just did. So. Just close these down. So I can stand that up and solder it on the back side. Ouch. I want to make sure it kind of has that chrome liquidy look to it. And then again, you want to take it, try and bend it, make sure it won't break off. That one's good. Put my shrink wrap on and do the other side. Thanks for watching.